Hey, in this video, I will be showcasing the map achievement IDU Negro and its versions. That means 14, 17, and 19. There are probably more, but I don't have them. I saw a lot of people online uh, asking for the map, uh, and there were no download links. And when I looked into my hard drive from 2010, uh, back when I was playing on these maps, I saw that I still have those files, so I will be there will be links in the description so you can download them yourself. It was made for the community of Negro servers. I wasn't very I mean I wasn't active there at all so I don't know what it was. They have a website but it's defunct now. You can find it on the internet archive though. Way back machine. This is the spawn area, and there are three exits out of the spawn area. The first one is rather obvious because when you spawn, you get automatic automatically pushed in a certain direction. You also get damaged by a trigger heart, and it pushes you into a wall, and this wall teleports you into the town area in which there's another trigger heart, and this is the uh, way for the idlers to die repeatedly. And there's also an exit uh, through a fang door into the town as well, but you are teleported uh, into one of the buildings. And then there's the obvious exit, which is the main gate. When you walk out of the main gate, you will find yourself in a, in a void, some kind of void, uh, with platforms suspended midair, and there are several um, other exits. There are several places you can go to. There are the, those two spawns for red and blue. There's a there's a church area. There's an area with miscellaneous stuff. I don't really have a name for it. And then there's the town. It's surrounded by buildings which you can enter, run around. This is where the idlers end up. There are several landmarks like this sign building or the tower with a spiral staircase. And a big room with a boxing ring. Now, when you look through these windows, you can see there is something interesting going on there. And it's the main interactive part of this map. So, in order to access the secret area, you first have to shoot in those two places. And that makes the door open. And there, now there's a set of puzzles that you have to complete. In the first puzzle, you have to shoot buttons in the correct order so that the door opens. But now I will just choose my way through these puzzles, otherwise, it would take a bit too long. The second one is a maze, which is rather simple, but you have to watch out not to get crushed. And now for the difficult part. This is yet another maze, uh, except that when you step on some plates, you can get teleported to these tanks in which you can drown, and there's no way out. 
And I think there are two separate ways, one for the blue team and one for the red team. This is the teleporter, and it allows you to access several places on the map. There, there is a secret room in the town. There's an item room, a hut room, the church, a satanic temple, a golf course, and a range. Let's go first to the secret room in the town. And this is what it looks like. This is where the cool people hang out. Or at least used to hang out. And people actually play this map. Let's check out the golf course. Oh. I think this is for the Sandman ball. Alright, now let's head to the church. Behind the altar, when you shoot the cross, the door opens and you can access the hot room. With all kinds of huts that were in the game back when this map was made. You can also access this area using the teleporter. You can also access the church itself using the teleporter. From here you can go into this room. And this room has a secret door to the satanic temple, but that's for later. Now, let's go to the miscellaneous area. There's a hidden door here. When you shoot the handle, the door, it opens. There's a long, long tunnel. At the end is a, an exit to the hut room. And that's another exit to the room above the church. This is a one way door, so you can't access it from here. There's a bottle at the end of this hallway. And when you shoot it, you are taken to a range. Let's check out the Satanic Temple now. Here is the item room with all the weapons. You can also access this room from the teleporter.
and this satanic temple itself. You can also access it using the teleporter. From here you can access yet another void type area. And there are secret doors that will take you above the spawns. So if you're an engineer, you can build sandwiches there and spawn camp. And the last area that I haven't covered yet is a labyrinth. You can access it through the teleporter by not choosing any exits. And when you complete it, it takes you to the charge. Now, let's go to Achievement Idol Negro 17. There are a few changes here, quite small. The biggest one is the addition of these two ladders in the town area. The hat room is also slightly different, but this may just be the lightning. As well as the item room, it's also slightly different lighting. Okay, now Achievement Idol Negro 19. In this version, the town area is way bigger, it's double the size. There's a separate idle section um, that deals damage over time for the blue team and for the red team. And this one was for the blue team. This map also features intelligence briefcases, presumably for the achievements. You can also access the intelligence room from the spawn directly. The other teleporter in the spawn takes you like in the previous versions inside the buildings. There's also a control point in the secret room. And the boxing ring was moved so there's a large empty room here. It's in the miscellaneous area. Alright, that was it. Thanks for watching. Take care.